Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to West Virginia Astronomy. John here. I stumbled upon something that I wanted to uh, let you guys know about. So I threw together this video in hopes that somebody else might be as excited as I was when I discovered this. Um, so stick around and see how I saved over $1,000 in astrophotography uh, filters. Anyone in astronomy, astrophotography, or just regular photography for that matter, um, as you as you progress further in the hobby, you realize that to, to really improve your image quality, you're going to have to invest in some type of filters. And with astrophotography, they can get quite expensive very quickly. So naturally, you begin searching for different prices and, uh, and, and different things on the internet. You realize many of these can be hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. If you're like me, uh, you started with a DSLR camera and, um, and a camera lens, no telescope or nothing. So um, you, you end up buying these these clip-in filters for uh, Canon or Nikon. Um, now they make these filters in clip-in versions and two-inch. People usually go with the clip-ins. They're they're easier to use. They go they're installed directly into the body of your DSLR, and then the lens goes on, and you're able to just just shoot like regular. Now the problem lies with when you uh, eventually want to pursue deep space imaging or something like that. You uh, you want to upgrade to the cool astronomy camera, but those will only accept two inch mounted filters. So you're, you're forced to rebuy all these, uh, the, this big collection of filters that you've gotten for your DSLR. And not many people know about this adapter that I found. And um, that's why I did this video to put it out there and just show you guys uh, that you can save a lot of money too. I think that's why a lot of people hesitate and are nervous to, uh, to upgrade to an astronomy camera. When I finally decided to take that plunge to the next step and buy my cool astronomy camera, I did a little research and I stumbled upon the Astronomic EOS 2M48 filter. And I'll click a, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can uh, find it too. And it was from High Point Scientific. I think it was about 25 bucks. And it's ultimately saved me about $1,500 from having to buy all these, these filters that I've already bought before. This filter adapter will convert your clip-in filters to the standard two inch threads. It is an inexpensive, extremely valuable alternative to uh, the pricey two inch filters. So yeah guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if, if you uh, didn't know about these filters, maybe give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll try to find other things like this that not many people know about. And um, yeah guys, until next time, here's guys.